Well, another happy Monday to you. I am Lynn Hernandez, and we are here at the YMCA with uh, Kyle Wilkes. Hey there, Kyle. Hello. So we're gonna talk about the YMCA. We're at the Tandy location, which is uh, 51st, right across the street from uh, La Fortune Park. And, and um, it, it's a, just an amazing facility. Uh, Kyle, let's talk about, um, first of all, summer camps coming up. Also, summer employment opportunities yeah. are, uh, I'm sure, something that you're looking for. And um, and what else the uh, the YMCA needs? So talk real quick about some of the services here. It's an amazing facility. Yeah. So ultimately, we're a, we're a facility that's here for all. Um, we have uh, moms coming in with uh, pre-birth all the way through death that we serve at this facility, from our young kids all the way through our seniors, um, with robust activities, um, a lot of support about individuals around individuals' goals. Um, and the chance for them to be able to come in and have fellowship. And that's been one of the struggles that we've seen during the pandemic is the ability for people to be able to socialize knowing that we're a community and we build community in our facilities with a very diverse environment. So uh, welcome to the Tandy YMCA, excited to have you here today. Okay, so because of the pandemic, things were a little restricted, but that's starting to open back up, right? Yeah, absolutely, things sure are. You know, we always follow local guidelines to make sure that we're above the minimum requirements around safety. Um, whether that be around our facilities and distancing, whether that be around our ratios and camps, whether that be around um, the spaces that we spend time in, um, we're certainly all directed around being safe and we'll continue to use that as our number one filter, but um, things seem to be getting better and our facility ac access is increasing and uh, we already have a lot of summer signups for camp, so we're getting excited and getting ready. The, the swimming pool here is really amazing. I'm going to just swing around here now there's <laughs> there's no water in it and, <laughs> and you may not be able to see because of the glare yeah but so, so uh, ultimately we, we like to prepare our pools for the summer to make sure that we get them out get them drained get the pools clean get everything recocked um so they know it's a busy it's our highest occupancy during the season of the summer and so we're getting those ready today beautiful fireplace um, <laughs> and just hanging out with lynn in front watching them work on that and uh, having a little fellowship and uh, just enjoying talking to you guys. So they've got a great outdoor uh, playscape area. There are, you know, top of the line, high tech uh, exercising equipment inside, fitness uh, right. facility inside, um, and a great place for summer camp. Yeah, yeah. So summer camp is coming up. Our registration is currently open. Um, we open up on May 25th at this location. We offer our summer camps at the Owasso YMCA, the Tandy YMCA. Uh, in addition to uh, the Herman and Kate Kaiser YMCA, which opens up the first week, of, first full week of June, brand new $15 million camp at the base of Turkey Mountain, um, a wonderful outdoor experience and a chance for folks to be able to come get together and, um, and learn with one another. And uh, I think what's beautiful about all of our camps, a couple things, one is we turn no one away due to the inability to pay. Um, so we have scholarships available. So if you have a need for that, please come in and have a conversation with us. We believe that everybody should have access to these wonderful programs. Um, we're excited to be able to already be hiring right now staff to get ready with our leadership and planning for the summer. So if you're looking for any summer employment opportunities, we have plenty around counselors at camp, um, site coordinators, swim instructors, referees for youth sports, um, and a wonderful opportunity to gain leadership school skills. We oftentimes the employees that we bring in are first time employees and we have a wonderful time giving them a chance at their first job engaging them not only in like I mentioned with youth but also with seniors and others that are in this facility to give them a well-rounded experience uh, to prepare them to be leaders in life. And talk about uh, something great to have on your resume and just to know that you were you know part of uh, the YMCA at some point if you're a student high school student you're going off to college man that let me tell you, they look for things like that on your That's uh, college entrance uh, application. YMCA's are all over the country, certainly all over the state, all over the country as well, over 3,000 of them. And the YMCA brand is, when people have worked for the YMCA and they move from community to community, those skills are transferable. Um, and YMCA's look just like we do for those that already have those skill sets established to hire. And so it is wonderful to have that on your resume. And again, those skills can move with you. So if you go from one community to the next, you'll have the opportunity to find employment. And not to mention, you mentioned uh, building fellowship and also long-term friendships That's too. Right. It's it's funny, my, my son Atticus went to uh, Camp Takatoka. I got a hoodie, I bought a hoodie. And when I wear that hoodie around, oh. it is amazing how many people point to it and go, hey, I went there. 
you know, and these I mean, are like older, like adults. <laughs> some of the best friends are made at camp. Some of the best friends yes, I have today yes. are from camp, and <laughs> and that's what's so wonderful is, is they have the time and the space to do that. And the social uh -huh. socialization of our children has certainly been challenged over the past 12 months, um, and it's a critical piece of their life. And so, um, along with our counselors and role models. Um, in addition to the engagement that they have, sets up a perfect space for them to re-engage, to re-socialize, and to make some wonderful friends. Uh, requirements for employment. Are there age requirements? You talked about that just a little yeah, bit. But... Yeah, d depending upon the position, that there's going to be an age of either 16 or 18 required to start those positions. So I encourage you to go onto our website, www.ymcatulsa.org backslash careers, and that will allow you to be able to see what's available and the requirements around those ages. Um, and so uh, come on in, get that experience, and uh, come join the team. It's a great team. I've been doing it for 20 years, and um, it's been some of the best 20 years of my life. That, okay, so I talked about folks that sort of stop me when I wear my to uh, Tonka Toka uh, hoodie. For somebody like you that has been here for so long, I'm sure you've seen kids grow up and become, you know, great adults too. You know, they, they not only have they become great adults, they become great parents. They become great role models. They become <laughs> great donors. Um, and really understand that social responsibility component around the nonprofit sector. And, and kids are learning those type of skills when they don't mm. know they are, just like a lot of us. Yes. Um, but it ultimately prepares you to find great success and a level of understanding and empathy for a very diverse group of people. So you're not just in your same quadrant, but uh -huh. um, with all kinds of people to help you learn the different ways and the different walks of life, which we believe is a critical piece at the YMCA. Okay, Kyle Wilkes with the uh, YMCA. So uh, reach out to them via their uh, website and get more information about um, summer camp, employment, and lots of things. There's just lots of things that are always going Don't on. Don't forget swim lessons. Come get your swim lessons at the Y. Yep, and awesome. swim lessons as okay. well. All right, Kyle, thank you. Thank you, you Lynn, appreciate you. Okay. <laughs>